inaugural trip. First time taking the bus out. Um, just gonna get some shots for you and then take it back and give you guys a sweet tour. Uh, we haven't done anything to it yet, so this is gonna be the bone stock tour, but this is the best part, it's a clean slate. It's pretty nice in here. It's super nice. Welcome to our new home. We picked up this amazing E350 uh, tour bus, Super Duty, uh, for $2,500 here in Maui. We think we're gonna do a fixed bed back here because this window living space, I just think it would be super cozy to have like a day bed slash bed bed. Um, and then we wanna have some sort of office space and some sort of kitchen, and that's really all we need. We want to strategically do the office in the kitchen yeah. by these windows that open up. So that'll exactly. probably be either the kitchen or the office area or over here. There's another window that opens up, but we'll do it over here. Because um, really we're trying to be outside as much as possible, right, Ben? Yeah, exactly. I think we want to just keep it minimal and simple and just not have to make it a big, huge thing. Because in our last build, we really overbuilt the whole thing. We went back and like did deconstruction two times and two major renovations just to cut it back and make it simple. So one of the cool things we love about the bus, other than the fact that we get these doors again, is that it has a whole separate front cockpit area. So Zane and I, for the first time in bus life, can sit next to each other on road trips and actually carry on a conversation. So we're incredibly excited about that. Front also has a CD player with the line-in input. There's like really nice Pioneer speakers mounted in the ceiling. So it already has an in-house audio system, which is really nice. Really brilliant uh, air conditioning that works unbelievably well, which is essential for the island. Exactly, I do want to make it feel not like at the inside of a vehicle. I think the biggest thing is we want to get a really comfortable mattress. I'm not sure who we're going to go with for a mattress, but um, something that's not going to get moldy. It's probably going to build. You don't think we're going to want to do a futon, right? You think just I don't know then? yet. I don't know yet. You know, that's something that we haven't quite got that far into planning yet. And I think we'll see how much space we really have to work with once we get the seats out. Yeah. All right, gang. So luckily the bolts are coming out super easy. Nothing looks like it's bolted in other than these like brackets right here, which might be a problem, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Hopefully right? it's no biggie. Uh, nervous laugh. So the last time you guys saw this space, there were tons of seeds in here. Just went with a 916th, what is it? 916 916th bolt and took all of these seats out. Just like that, we have a huge open space and it's really inspiring me for what we want to do in here. I think we're going to go with the stationary bed. I think that's like, that's a decision. <laughs> Yeah, right underneath that window so I we can look so. outside those three windows every day. Mm -hmm. Pop this bad boy open, get that airflow. Yeah, yep. we're inspired. We have some planning to do. I'm gonna get busy on Google SketchUp and exactly. take some measurements and start to make it happen. Let us know again what you guys think we should do with the ceiling and how we can cover that to be the most efficient, beautiful thing. Yeah, back to it. Got some measurements, so now we're gonna go home, back to the condo, and draw up some plans and start to bring this thing to life. So we're gonna head back to the condo.